Hello everyone, as I told about the operation of solenoid valve in my previous video, in this video I want to tell about the different parts of solenoid valve. Before knowing about the different parts of solenoid valve, let us once again see the operation of solenoid valve. An electric coil is positioned around a plunger. As soon as the coil is electrically energized, a magnetic field is created which pulls the plunger up towards the center of the coil. This opens the orifice so that the medium can flow through. Now we will see different parts of solenoid valve, valve body, this is the body of the valve to which the solenoid valve is connected. The valve is usually connected in the process flow pipeline to control the flow of certain fluid like liquid or air. Ordinarily the flow from the valve is controlled by the handle, but in case of the automatic valve the solenoid valve is connected to the valve. Inlet port of the valve, this is the port through which the fluid enters inside the valve and from here it can enter into the final process. Outlet port, the fluid that is allowed to pass through the valve leaves the valve through the outlet port. The solenoid valve controls the flow of the fluid from inlet port to the outlet port. Coil slash solenoid, this is body of the solenoid coil. The body of the solenoid coil is cylindrical in shape, and it is hollow from inside. This is covered with steel covering and it has metallic finish. Inside the solenoid valve there is solenoid coil. Coil windings, the solenoid consists of several turns of the enameled wire wound around a ferromagnetic material like steel or iron. The coil forms the shape of the hollow cylinder. Externally this coil is covered with the steel covering. Lead wires, these are external connections of the solenoid valve that are connected to the electrical supply. The current is supplied to the solenoid valve from these wires. When the solenoid valve is energized, the current flows through these wires to the solenoid valve and when the solenoid valve is de-energized the flow of current stops. Plunger or piston this is the solid round metallic part cylindrical in shape and placed in the hollow portion the solenoid valve. When the electrical current is passed through the solenoid valve, the magnetic field is generated inside the hollow space. Due to this the plunger tends to move in the hollow space. When the electrical current is stopped to the solenoid valve, the magnetic field is stopped and the plunger is remains the existing place due to the force of the spring. Spring 
the plunger moves inside the hollow space due to the action of the magnetic field against the action of the spring. The magnetic field generated inside the solenoid valve tends to move the plunger, but the spring tends to stop the motion of the plunger in whichever the position it is. This action of the spring against the magnetic field helps keeping the plunger in the position where the flow of current to the solenoid valve is stopped. The spring performs very crucial action inside the hollow space. Orifice the orifice is an important part of the valve though which the fluid is flowing. It is the connection between the inlet and the outlet port. The flow of fluid from the inlet port to the outlet port takes place from this orifice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.